welcome to the vlog episode 4. We're here in the uh, Tottenham Stadium. Ben, face is blurred. 1 0 up to Leeds. Jordan's very happy, but. We are at the arcade club today in Bere. This place is insane. Yeah, it's just got all old school arcade machines and that, so I have to be honest with you, I haven't really had a look around yet, so go and have a little wonder then. We've got this is for three floors. Royal Rumble. It's got three fucking set. Three floors of just pure. Yeah. Look, they got PCs here, come edit here if you want. They must be like four. Yeah, this looks mental. Ah, oh, they only got 1080s in there. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> got an old school. Got me <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a Hobo Jack yeah. shoot. Super Mario. You got any drop for Hobo Jack, haven't you? Retro drop? Yeah, we're doing a bit of a retro drop at the end of this month, so we thought we'd um, come to proper old school fucking okay and let them do some make a cool video. That's right. This video hasn't been very good lately, so we thought we'd have to do Step up the budget and just to help them out a little bit. <laughs> Mate, this is insane. Literally, there's three floors of just rows and rows and rows of this stuff. These are all pinball. Look at that one. Terminator, look. Terminator. Terminator, boys. Oh, we got it in. They haven't got the, they haven't got the, uh, the shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun's probably in there. Cool, mate. Is that the shotgun there? Yeah, it's gonna fucking take it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got time crisis over there. Um, no. But I'm better Phil Collins. Do you know the Phil Collins? <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> Facing me at that's it. Like, we can even cross your legs a little bit. We're getting like angle a bit. Angle a little bit. Come on, son. You've got it. No, 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 no. Just, I don't know how to face in there. Look at you mean. You need so to know like, that angle. Angle. I don't think it looks fragile. Yeah. Mm. So back at the shoulder. <laughs> like you've played two in a game. A shoulder on each. That's it. Just a shoulder on each shoulder. And then you, no, just crossing your legs. What are you doing? You're getting pecked out. Yeah. Or can... Just cross your legs. Okay. That's it. It's just natural. Isn't it's like I can see you filming, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Do you want a bit of belly button? It's a bit. Am I right here? Hand back a little bit. Am I in this? Yeah, good job. Oh. This is, so you can turn yourself to your left. Me? Yeah. Do you, is, do you, is that better up there? Or do, you, do you want it low? And then to your, to your left. Yeah. Towards me. And then that's it. That's it. Danny Woodstock, everyone. 
Do you want it like above or yeah, like there? That's cool there, Ben. All right. All right. So, All right. So, easy. so Dan ain't really focused much. That's Gershwin, though. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm focused here. Just in the background. Just, I'm just in the background lurking. <laughs> just a little lurk in the corner. Who's <laughs> better than that? Do you want to focus? Welcome to the welcome to my crib. So, um, yeah, we're doing a high wedge out photo shoot, and we're in a retro arcade in Bury. Yeah, so we're in the retro arcade in Bury, and it's just an abyss of proper old school games. I mean, we've got Snow Bros, classic, Twin Cobra, Renegade. Football champ, where the original FIFA is. Golden Axe, look at this. The original graphics. I mean, I don't remember seeing that on Golden Axe, but here's the old Golden Axe games. Credits, Mega Drive Passages. Winners don't use drugs. Did you see that? No. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> Direct to FBI, that's true. Winners don't use drugs. Well, some winners do. Um, Wonder Boy. This is a classic on the uh, Master System. There's too much to choose from. Final Fight, Sunset Riders, Catlands. Yeah. Absolutely in my element here. Um, I could stay here all day, but we are on a time limit and uh, we've got a, yeah, we've got to be out in like two hours, so I can't film too long, but thought I'd give you a little insight of the day. Very fun, very happy day. So, yeah, I'm a happy boy. Sweet. I am currently in the Maldives having an amazing time. I've filmed so much. However, the internet here, well, I'm on an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean, so you can imagine how bad the internet is here. So when I get back, I'm gonna send all my footage to Ben for the next vlog. I'm sure the boys have had an insane time and this vlog is gonna be absolutely insane without me. I will see you in the next vlog.
Ma, how you doing? Hope all the footage is getting to you good and spicy in these rocks. Today, got a day off work. Just got out of the shower, as you can see. Love and life. I ain't gonna really be doing that much today, so I've got some, like, housework chores to do, unfortunately. Oh no, uh, me doing chores. Who would have thought it? Uh, I've got some washing up to do there, not lots, so that's alright. Clean the kitchen and that. Sort the cat out with some food in a bit, which I probably should do now. <laughs> It'll be alright for about five minutes. But yeah, today is going to be a chill day. But to be honest, in these vlogs, I'm not going to be doing a lot of extravagant shit unless I go on holiday or I have holiday, which isn't going to happen probably until New Year. So it's going to be housework shit and just like perhaps a house tour at some point because I know Jordan did the one in one of the vlogs earlier on and that was pretty cool so I think we're all going to do that at some point hopefully in the future I don't know but yeah chill day just going to take it easy wait for my hair to dry do all the housework in the kitchen and that do you know what I mean right this is going to be sad but it's where my life is at this moment in time if you're slumming it like me you're doing the washing up manually you're putting manual labour into this this motherfucker right this with this is going to be a godsend I think they're called Dishmatics. Don't quote me on that. Got the name right, Dishmatic hit us up. We are in for, you know, sponsorship opportunities. So yeah, you gotta just literally snap that in like that. Put your fucking throw liquid in there. Probably needs a bit of a top up. Then you scrub away and then the soap comes out of the fucking sponge and then seeps round and you wash the plates and that. Brilliant, isn't it? How'd you like this new angle as well? It's pretty good, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Him, the fucking menace. What do you want? Stalking me from the stairs. Oh shit. I just fed you. We crying for? Oh, gee, gee. If you're unfamiliar with the vlog, this is Kevin. Um, a true, true utter psychopath. He just brought me one of his toys on the stairs, as if to say, play with me, you fuckhead. Jesus, look at the No fucking remorse. Come on in. Go. Gee, you what? Calm down. That's it, yeah, just chill next to it, as if, like, you called it. You did the work. You absolute swine! Hello, welcome to the vlog. The Atma vlog, which is the finest vlog around. Now, as you can see, I'm in my studio with the lights, you know, the RGBs chilling out. I've just noticed though, there's some of the RGBs at the top there are actually discoloured, so that's great. Oh, and behind me as well, if you can see like the green, because this should be like white light. You can see some green just behind the hair to the left there and uh, up there. But that's Amazon for you. Cheers, Jeff. Another rant on Jeff. Oh, it's not his problem. You know, he's a, pretty much a trillionaire. I mean, he's he's going to the fucking moon every couple of weekends, isn't he? So, we're live. Film alive. Okay, how you doing, Atma? Past couple of weeks, what have I been up to? Did a photo shoot up in Bury with the Arcade Club, which I think we've got a few little clips in there, so uh, Ben will put that on for you. Had a little change up in my office, done on my background, sorted all this bit out, so I can do a few more videos from here. 
I'm probably going to do some more NFT stuff as well. I've chatted to Jimmy about it. I think we're going to do some, uh, yeah, some more looking into like, all the wax and those play to earn games and all that sort of stuff. So, hence my little studio building it up. And uh, yeah, it looks all right. It's not too bad. Jordan's probably laughing. But yeah, I thought I would show you one of my prized possessions that recently has just come in to my keeping. Now, Jordan obviously went on holiday to the Maldives, cheeky cunt, and I got to keep on of this, which is obviously the Atma trophy. And I was designated for that time period the King of Atma. What else have I been up to? Just getting everything prepared for Hobo Jack for the Black Friday drop, so busy there. Filming wise, not really had too much to kind of film. Just been in the factory quite a bit and in my office, just doing stuff that you're not really gonna want to see on the vlog. So I was like, right, what can I do sitting here in my new little cell? And I'm gonna do my top five favorite films. I just want to say big ups to Ben, the editor, who will remain faceless as long as he remembers to cover his face. Because he actually bought the trophy, he actually got the trophy, it was his idea to do that. I don't know if you can see some manscaped products up there. Just a little bit of, <laughs> just a, little bit of a plug for you. But yeah, he actually got the trophy, so big up to Ben. Because without Ben, there would be, at the moment anyway, no Atma Trophy. These game shows and, you know, all these things we're doing to compete for the trophy, they would have had no prize. It would have felt soulless, empty, hollow. How many other words can I come up with the same kind of meaning? I'm not a thesaurus, so I'm not going to do that. Right, so, I've got Matrix, number one, hands down, just my number one film. I watched that when it first came out at the cinema. I'd never seen anything like that before. I was like blown away. It was like sick camera work and all the different angles and everything that went on. I was just like, this is the best film I've ever seen. It just blew me away. Uh, <laughs> I loved it that much. I went back and re-watched it um, the next day, the next night in the cinema. So yeah, I was fortunate enough to watch that in the cinema. I'm trying to think when it came out. Like 99, yeah, come out in 99, yeah. So, yeah, I love that. The favorite bit in the movie was probably when uh, when Neo's he's running, he's with Trinity and he, he's in the helicopter. And then, um, yeah, he, he I can't remember what happens after re <laughs> rewatch, I love him more, but anyway, he's on the roof and the helicopter's down and it's going down, and the, the rope's coming over, the helicopter's going down, and then he just fucking grabs the rope and like wraps it around his arm and and uh. They're like, what's he doing? And then Morpheus is like, he's starting to believe. And uh, it grabs the rope and obviously the helicopter, you think the helicopter's just gonna wipe him out. And then Trinity jumps out and the fucking helicopter smashes into the building and then just pulls her off. And I was like, I just love that bit. It's so sick. It's just like, it's also, you know, in life when you're, you're doing something, you're not quite sure. And then all of a sudden you get it and you're like, oh yeah, I'm fucking, I'm starting to get this. Like, he's starting to believe, like you believe in yourself. So. Uh, yeah, I love that analogy. So yeah, it's definitely my favourite movie and I love that bit. So many great bits in there and, and I'm so looking forward to, to when the, the new one comes out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch that at cinema. Probably going to watch it twice. Trailer looks epic and uh, it's like throwbacks to the original Matrix as well. So can't wait for that. I've just watched the trailer. I haven't watched too much into it because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Absolutely buzzing for that. Shoot! If you can hear at any point in this video any banging 
um, it's, it's next door, they're having, they're doing something, I don't know whether it's like some sort of mass murdering going on there with a hammer, but there's, there's some noise, let's put it that way, but yeah, I ain't gonna call the police, because yeah, if I call the police around here, I'm more likely to get fucking hurt myself. Jokes, the police are great, you know, they do a good job, and this is a great town, and a lot of good things happen in this town. Um, very, very, you know, much, keep, keep to yourselves kind of, you know, vibe. Um, not a lot of stabbings, not a lot of shootings, not a lot of uh, crime at all, really. That's, that's the armour for you. Paradise, some say, if you like drugs. But I just thought I'd say to you guys, Adam, thank you for tuning in because, you know, we say it quite a lot. But we do mean it. You guys are brilliant. Everyone who comments on the videos, any content that we make, really, always tell us how great it is that we create it and how much you enjoy it. Uh, number two, second favourite film is... I should have rewrote this, this actually before I did this, but I'm going off the going off the top of once. I think I think it's Fight Club. Yeah, yeah Fight Club. It was again around. I'm sure I watched them around the same time, and I watched that at the cinema. That's just that's epic as well. So many good music. Brad Pitt in it is is obviously ripped and he's a tank, and he's just like that's for me. That's his best film. Ed Norton is sick in it as well. He's like such a good actor. And I think those two play off each other so well. If you haven't seen it, I mean, what are you doing? You need to go and watch that. Yeah, I, lo I love that move so much. There's, there's like little flashes throughout the film, um, which are, are really cool. And if you haven't watched it, go back and watch them. There's some funny little intermittent flashes that uh, you, you might not have caught them on the first time you saw it. And just the twist at the end. The twist is like, it's got to be up there. Next level, got to be up there with like all time best twists. For me, it's up there, man. Absolutely solid film, like spawned a whole cult following. And it's just, yeah, absolutely sick film. That's my number two. It is actually, not to get pure emotion on you, but it is very rewarding to make content that people actually like and enjoy and tune in for. It's nice to have the following of people. Nice to have, dare I say it, a family, I guess. A family of people who all are concentrated on just the content, love the content, want to engage with us, give us ideas for more content, which you can do in the Discord, because it's now open to anyone. Number three, uh, I love you, man. That film, oh man, I, I don't watch films usually more than once. Like, obviously Matrix, I've seen two, three times. Fight Club, probably again, two, three times, but most films I'll, I'll watch once. Uh, I love you, man, I've watched that. 10 times easily like Paul Rudd in that is so funny the reason I keep watching it and I've watched it sometimes like the more you watch it you just pick up on his little traits that he does he just does all these funny little little bits for it and you miss over the first couple of times the more you watch it you just like I don't think it's like scripted in there he just kind of pulls them out of the bag but he's I love him in any, most films anyway he just cracks me up but in that film for me, that's the funniest film he's been in, his quality. Some other good actors in there and actresses, but he just steals the show, man. Like, if you haven't seen that film, it's so, so funny. Yeah, just go and watch it. Yeah, you just need to watch it. That's it. If you are a VIP member, by signing up via YouTube, £4.99, I believe it is a month, you do get exclusive, or a exclusive channel in the Discord, if you are interested, along with a shirt with um, the Atma logo on, which is pretty cool. But it is a exclusive, exclusive shirt upon sign up. So if you do want to get that, then come on down. You obviously get exclusive content as well, because you know we want to make you feel like you are a genuine VIP. You are a VIP. To me, you're a PIP. I don't know what you heard about me. Then I'm a motherfucking VIP. Didn't, didn't come off as I wanted to. Yeah, just a quick, you know, update how I'm feeling. Want to show off the trophy because I've got it in my possession uh, and enjoy the rest of the vlog because it's going to be spicy. Go on. Go on. Oh! No! No! Right, number four. 
The Dark Knight. I love all the Batman franchise. Probably gonna watch the new one at the cinema. I was lucky enough to watch The Dark Knight at the IMAX cinema in London, and it was mental. I'm kind of close to the front, and it, it was just mad. The screen's like so, so big, and the sound was like epic. And it, yeah, I just, like what a film to watch there. And it's the only IMAX film I've ever watched, but like Heath Ledger just, smashed it out of the bag. You know, the new Jokers, I'm a big fan of it as well, but Heath Ledger for me in that, he just steals the show. He's insane. The acting he did in that film. I've watched a few little clips of, of different things of him and some like behind the scenes and like the filming and how he got his character and like how he stayed in a hotel and just practiced the voice. And uh, I don't know if we'll see anyone do a better job. I don't know. It was, it was mental. So I imagine everyone's watched that. You can't go through life and not watch The Dark Knight. I like the others as well, the, the other films that come out of the franchise, but that, that's an all I've seen that probably about three or four times, and I'm um, mental film. Well, again, I'm not giving you too much about the films because I haven't really watched them recently. You don't need me telling you about them, you just need to go and watch them. And if you haven't watched anything like this, then what are you doing? thought about filming this but I haven't really got much to do in terms of filming stuff and having ideas to film put in the vlog so I thought fuck it I'll let you see outside the top window there's some work going on outside um, don't know what they're doing but the road's closed have a little peek at what's going on Ben I do apologize this is in portrait I've started the video now so I will go on and yeah so I'm just gonna show you what's outside this window it's a lovely window here it's lovely completely safe and working window that I will not jump out of, I promise. If I did, I probably, I wouldn't die, I'd probably just break something, break my legs, break the pavement, possibly cause a earthquake unknown in terms of the Richter scale to the population of Earth. But anyway, let's show you what's outside. Fifth one. Oh, this is tough, man. I have got a couple. I think I'm kind of reserving it for the new Matrix, if I'm totally honest. I mean, I'm gonna keep the spot open, but there's a couple, I mean, uh, there's, you got like Braveheart, Gladiator, love the Shawshank Redemption, that is up there. Anything with a twist, I'm like, I love a good twist in a film. Do I go with Shawshank? I mean, I, I did have a quick look at the IM, IMBD, uh, IMDB top rated. That is number one. Goodfellas, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, Schindler's List, Angry Men, Godfather. Mm, number five. This is some of you from my lovely studio. That's the cars and that pass by. I don't know what they're actually doing. There's just a load of shit over there. That orange digger, that actually shakes the house when it moves. So it's good. It's enjoyable. The very foundations that the house are built on could crumble. But there we go. Um, that's the view up the street. There's the cars coming down. Do you know what I mean? What a beautiful uh, sunset there just above the, uh, the houses, above the horizon. Love it. Yeah, something for the vlog, innit? Right, I'm gonna reserve it, but for now, I'm gonna put in Terminator 2. Although these are my top five, like it's also to do with like the time and when I watched them. Like Terminator 2 came out in 1991, so I was 12, and I believe it was a 15. Right, it must have been, because basically, um, come out of the cinema after I was 12, it was a 15, so I had no chance of getting in. But my dad took me to go and watch it, and uh, I was so scared, I was like, no, I definitely, definitely won't get in. Like, there's no way they're gonna check me. I was like, I'm 12. I mean, I've always looked a bit younger for my age. When I was 12, I looked about eight. So yeah, went with my dad, and uh, I just remember we went out, went to the front, he got the tickets, and uh, the guy like, he's like, it's 15, he's like, yeah, of course he is. 
And then he's like, yep, yeah, no worries. And then it was like happy days when my dad had a skinhead at the time as well. Looked a bit mean. Yeah. And then took me in and oh man, that film. Like watching that at the cinema, 12, 12 years old, I was like, that probably got me like hooked to, I love the cinema. I, I go quite often. My missus is not into it as much as I'd like her to be. She's not really a cinema person. I absolutely love the cinema. I would go all the time. Haven't been in a while. Definitely going to watch The Matrix A and probably a new Batman. But yeah, so that's my top five. Let me know what you think. A couple of old, old gold is there, but again, a lot of those as well. I was fortunate enough to watch them at the cinema. And for me, when you watch them at the cinema, it adds an extra 10, 20%, I'd say, to, uh, to the overall feeling of the of, of the film. Yeah, it just makes it, and that huge screen just makes it epic. That's me this week. So, I mean, it wasn't the best film review. <laughs> Didn't really give you any information about the films. I mean, you've either seen them, and if you haven't, man, you're in for an absolute treat. So, yeah. Go and watch them, my top five. Peace. Thank you. There we go. That's uh, two one. That's what I've been doing this week, so. Well done. Let's go. One week later. And Spurs are vulnerable here. Marosha has stolen it, for they have never seen anything like it. With the last kick of the match, they have beaten glory, glory Tottenham Hotspur. Mura 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1 in the fourth minute of four to be added on at the end of this game. This is a dreadful result for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, beaten 2-1 with the lowest ranked team in Europa. I'm not, I'm not going to do any more of this. No! No, God, please, no, 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 no!